Guys, this is a bit of a shame. Um, not only because both of the games I'm doing tonight, I just haven't done it in a while, but with when it comes to Animal Crossing, you just gotta brace for the worst sometimes. When you play this infrequently, I fear for the well-being of my town. Who knows who's come and gone? Who knows what weeds have come and gone? I'm gonna walk out my front door, I'm gonna open up the porch. I'm a Roma weed! You see, the last time I streamed this, that wasn't even a recurring bit. Times change. Speaking of, the little icon is different on the loading screen because it is fall now. It is the Halloween season. Anyways, how are you guys doing tonight? Welcome back. Hopefully I'm not the only one who has neglected Animal Crossing. Although, even though that results in, like, increased... <laughs> Animal misery makes me feel a little bit bad about my own decisions. Okay. So Sherb is still confirmed. Con confirmed. I don't know about the rest of this, though. We'll have to wait and see. I'm scared! I like my villagers! I have also neglected it. Well, first of all, it's how dare you! Your villagers depend on you! <laughs> Oh boy. That said, yeah, there's a... Isabel will tell us all about it in just a second. I'll let her explain it. Good evening, everyone! Right now in Yowieville, it's 8.06pm on Wednesday, October 14th, 2020. I just love October. Well, actually, I just love Halloween. Costumes, candy, and best of all, pumpkins. That's, that's the best part to you? P pumpkins aren't just for eating, of course. You can also carve them out to make lovely little lanterns. Wait, is this, a, is this a feature? Is there a pumpkin carving feature? You can even use pumpkins for other kinds of DIY projects. Guys, the way she's saying it makes it seem like there's a pumpkin carving feature and that I may not have actually known about. I've heard that Nook's Cranny and Leaf are now selling pumpkin starts. I hope everyone starts growing them. Wouldn't it be wonderful to see pumpkins sprout up in every little corner of Yowieville? Nook's Cranny will also be selling candy. You'll want to have plenty to share on Halloween night. I'm really looking forward to seeing everyone's Halloween costumes. Don't forget to have all your silly and scary outfits and accessories ready before the big event starts. That's all for now. That's a good point. There's gonna be like a lot of people who's like, who won't be able to trick or treat this year. So this is like a, a nice little digital Halloween event. It's a cute idea. Oh my God, my hair! Oh, okay. I thought that was gonna be like a permanent thing. Oh, I must have, like, so much mail. My phone? Throw this shit out. This ain't the iPhone 12. Alright, it's not bad. Thank you, Tommy. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Esteemed Griffin. Uh, okay. This is, oh, this is just stuff that I, like, ordered. What did I order, I wonder? Some interest on my bank account. No, 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 no. We are not done here. Happy Home Academy. No gift. Nintendo. A gift. So this comes with the update. Mommy? With apple stuffed cheeks, I take long walks and read long books. I take long naps and long pajamas. This time of year is wonderful, but far too short. Enjoy it while it lasts. Jack. To my future loyal minions! I'll be creeping through on October 31st for Halloween, my dear pumpkins. Until then, contemplate this portrait of yours truly and get to work gathering lots of candy, as all good minions should. This dude is writing to me as though I'm, like, his YouTube audience. And then new painting options. Okay. Well, first things first, I want to climb right back on in. Crawl right back into bed. Because I want to see... <gasps> die, 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 die! Also, I did not put this music on. Is this roach music? They're probably all throughout the fucking house, but first. Mom's tea cozy. Jack's portrait. I ordered a lighthouse? Oh, cool. And a ring con? Oh, it's a ring fit. You can squeeze it, that's funny. You talking to chat like, I do not call chat my minions. 
if anything, they are my nemesis. There's my unfinished kitchen that I haven't been to in a year. Although, no roaches in there. But I'm pretty sure... <gasps> yeah, there's supposed to be like a pop-up when you get them all. Yes, I will step on it without shoes, because there aren't any good-looking shoes in this game. At least not any that go with this outfit, because I am... I mean, I'm not taking it off. I'm already prepped for Halloween! I've been ready for this since April, baby! <laughs> this music is so funny. It is good roach hunting music! <laughs> My fucking collection of maid dresses. That's a good bit. Oh, <gasps> That's what I should do for Halloween! I'll get to like a friendship level with everybody and I'll give everybody maid dresses. Because that's what I wanted to do on some other night, but this will be like the perfect opportunity to do it. And I'm already sitting on like a huge collection, enough to clothe the village, so... <gasps> There's not bugs in the Keaton room, are there? <gasps> no! Get out of here! Also, that's like Wind Waker smoke. The little particle effect when you step on them. Listen, just because Keaton loves bugs doesn't mean I'm, I'm ready for an infestation. So, Griffin, I have some pretty cursed for you news to share. Oh, okay. It's... What's the news? <gasps> there can only be one streamer. Oh, good! All the pesky cockroaches are gone. I feel so much better now. My fucking Keaton poster. It's been a while. It's nice to just fucking, like, run over all these rooms to, like, remember what those rooms were. But let's see. Uh... I don't think... Any of this is stuff that I want to keep, minus the lighthouse. That could be fun for Halloween, because, you know, red balloons, haha. <laughs> um, maybe I'll keep the ring con, and then these will go in storage. Halloween cupcakes now. I'm going to give them to my villagers, and they're going to bite into it. It's going to go, <laughs> it's going to be solid. Uh, I don't know, I'll put the ring con, like, right here. See, but up until now, this has been a, a realistic recreation of my room. And yes, that includes the demon mirror and the giant bear. <laughs> this is like aspirational now. So what's the cursed news? It's... I have to remember what I ordered the lighthouse for, though. That's going to be the tricky thing. Because I ordered it so long ago, I don't know what my intent for it was. Maybe for the horizon, because I got some windmills earlier, but they weren't, like, tall enough to break through the tree line over there in, like, the top right. So maybe if I can get, like, a lighthouse back there, we'll see if that's any better. Uh-oh. I have recently been given a PS2 with an actual working DualShock controller, besides R1 getting a little stuck. But it's cursed for you because it also came with Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, so now my threats aren't baseless. Yeah, that is cursed. I wish I never asked. <laughs> it's good to be back, though. I'm, I am very happy with, like, what I did manage to build over my time when I was, like, super into this game. Boy, there's a lot of these creepy crawlies around. See, that's what's going to be nice about winter, though, because then they'll all go away. The peninsula, like everyone else. You know, yeah, while I'm down here, let me go to my, my little rear cliff garden area and see if the lighthouse will even fit anywhere back there. Also, I'm seeing some shinies from some bells. So I'll probably want to head there anyways. I bet there's all kinds of, like, new fish and bugs to catch at this time of year as well. Because that's kind of how it was for me. That's kind of what I was saying. Ooh, bottle? That, like, for now, as far as, like, the summer content, I was kind of, like, falling off of it. But I could be convinced when, like, a new season came along. And, hey, this is, like, fall now, right? So, maybe. So, no red. That much we know. But hear me out. I want to try putting it up here, 
And if I can see it from my house, then it's a keeper. If not, though, I fear the worst. Hmm. See, I feel like that is taller than the windmills. I, the windmills are, like, tiny in comparison. So if I can just, like, get that right next to a... Kind of right between these trees. Then hopefully that'll stand out. So I'll go back to my home and we'll see if I can I can spot that or not. It is weird that it has such a small door. It's like a like a model lighthouse, I guess. Speaking of Animal Crossing updates though, ooh, I still gotta figure out what I want to like populate this spot with. Because I think this is where Ed used to live, but not anymore. He's long gone. But yeah, in the, let's be quite honest, likely event that I run out of stuff to do with my own island, I want to start visiting some friend islands. Because I know, you know, you got Chris here, and I don't think I've been to Chris's island yet. But I've dropped in on a few of their Animal Crossing streams, and like... Out of most of my friends, I think, like, Chris has put, like, the most, like, insane amount of effort into, like, making their island, like, perfect. So I'd love to see the final tour of that for myself. Oh, that's right, we got, we got Bird Boulevard, as I've just decided to call it. Oh, and remember Raymond's still here! Maybe that, maybe that w w is what we can do for tonight. I gotta find where I want to move his house, because he is not a bird. That is, like, yeah, the one thing that I still have not figured out is that Keaton isn't on this island yet. Is that I still have... Let me get the image. I I've had the Stewie and the Nick Robinson on my desktop all this time, and I will not get rid of it until I don't have an excuse to use it anymore. This bitch has got to go. I can't believe the last time I played this, Raymond was the one who asked if he could leave. How dare he? I should chain him to the fucking radiator in my basement. Speaking of, I don't see any villagers roaming about. Probably because I'm sprinting through <laughs> yelling about locking them in my basement. Go, cat boy, go! I both love and hate mine. It's, have I seen your island? I know I've seen Tyler's, Robin's, and Max's. But maybe not yours. There's probably time for pr plenty of friend islands, though, let's be honest. <gasps> Someone is thinking, No! Sterling! You wouldn't think, would you? Hey, Griffin. Perfect timing. I've been thinking about moving out. No! I feel like I've been going through the motions lately. A big change can be just the challenge I need. Wherever I go, I'm going to start a new warrior level training regimen. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm starting to get excited about moving. You can't go. Well, Barbells, how could I leave if you want me to stay? That settles it. I'm not moving. I could never leave a buddy like you behind, Scraw. You're mine. Wait, this is a big fishy. Fish? Keep him hostage. You saw mine at, like, launch day. Well, I feel like at this point in Animal Crossing, though, everyone's kind of like... Everyone who did get it at launch has probably, like, finished their villages by now, right? Oh, this is, like, weird. I forget, like, what the... the vibration... what it feels like to get a big catch, so I wasn't quite sure at that moment. These bits with the blue flowers in them are also weeds, right? I shouldn't be leaving those. Because who knows, maybe they could grow into something, like, nicer looking. Hmm. I think that once I finish my, like, fossil exhibit at the museum, which I feel like I'm really close to doing, um, 
Maybe I'll start holding on to, like, some cooler fossils, and then I can put, like... Because this is kind of some empty space on both sides of this. So maybe I could put, like, two dinosaurs on both sides. Because you can use those decoratively, right? Because that could be a cool... They're, like, there's some areas like this that I've, like, kind of begun to, like, think out and consider, and they're, like, pretty dense with stuff and, you know, things that I would call finished. But there's definitely a few holes here and there that I haven't exactly figured out what I want to do yet. So... There's definitely work to be done. I just don't know what that work ought to be, as of yet. Can't believe Sterling asked to leave. How fucking dare he? Hi, Apollo! Griffin, how dare you! If you think you can just jitterbug on in here after disappearing like that, well, you can. Folks on this island are free to come and go all willy-nilly just as they please. How you been? Good? I hope so. You look healthy. Take care, alright? But I want to talk to you some more, Apollo. How's it going, Pa? I want to chat. I want to get to know our folks here on the island better, and reckon you're a good one to start with. So, can I ask you something? Let's see now. What sort of stuff do you like to read, Pa? Dictionaries, novels, coffee table books, something else? <gasps> they should not give me this power! You know I can't be trusted with this! Hold up, did I hear you right? Yowie? Yup. <laughs> Yowie, huh? If that's the kind of thing you're into reading, maybe I should give it a try! I'm gonna be honest, Apollo, I don't know if I can recommend it. <laughs> oh, we got new stuff on the on the board here. What's new on the bulletin? We got the bug off. Oh, I missed Raymond's birthday! And this was the day the update came out too. How dare I? An early shout-out to the birthday resident. Enjoy your special day. I should have sent him a maid dress. Hand a fishing tourney. I gotta keep track of that. Switch clip that? Well, I mean, I did just now, but I don't know if that went back 30 seconds far enough. When in doubt of switch clip, twitch clip. I always say. Let's see, what other villagers do I like that I ought to visit? This one's Drago, right? Yeah, this one's... Drago's alright. Not my favorite. Didn't ask for him. You. You're the one keeping me from getting Keaton. How is it that after all this... It's been a long time, you know, since I've gotten any camping villagers. And that's a shame. Also, pumpkins out front is a, is a cute detail next to Nook's Cranny. I was here to pick some weeds. Let's see. Oh, yeah. There's, like, a bunch that's getting, like, blocked off right now because of all these trees. I could, like, do the rounds and do my usual fruit selling because that is how I decide to live my miserable, miserable life here on this miserable, miserable Yaoi Island. Fucking Murphy. You don't belong here! That's a good detail, though. This guy never needs to change. They're right where they need to be. I guess I could build, like, a fourth level so that they're, like, standing amongst buildings, but... I've seen people use, like, furniture to make, like, much more accurate-looking cities, so maybe I'll do that instead. I don't know. There's so many possibilities, which is a good thing. I gotta, like, stop every now and again, because sometimes those look, like, tarantulas, <laughs> and I get freaked out. Let's see, how many fossils let me- 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I've, I've still got one more to, to dig up someplace. That's kind of the, the threshold that I'm waiting to hit. And then I'll, like, start selling stuff and, like, kind of diving into more of the new features and shopping and whatnot, but... I want to get my dailies out of the way first, you know? Let's go to Keaton Island. Maybe there's something there. Besides, you know... The obvious. Yeesh. Fucking look at this! What have I done? Also, Sixth Fossil! There we go! Keaton Island came through after all. See, I think my dream is to make this the kind of island where I, like 
plant a shit ton of flowers, but I've still yet to figure out, like, very good breeding strategies or, like, flower type strategies. I still have, like, the basics, and I don't know how to get, like, the, the nicer ones still. I guess you just have to trade with friends, but I'm not so good at that. The whole having friends thing. Alright, well that makes six fossils, but I'll just kind of scamper down here. This is the last part that I haven't dropped by. I mean, I already got the bottle, so aside from weeds, we should be good to go. Let me just make sure that Keaton is pristine up there. Okay, no weeds on him! The weeds know to stay away from that man. Or he'll eat them. Well, that would be Dimitri. <laughs> flower jeans is where I stopped trying. Do flowers have jeans? Is that how you do it? I thought it was just like... You get the colors based on how you, like plant them in a formation? Yeah, it sounds like it's more complex than it's letting on. Fucking Murphy. No, I, I want to go to the museum first so that I can get these things recognized. And hopefully, my work recognized and my fossils recognized in the museum. Because it has been so long since I've actually had like a new donation like recognized as something new. Good evening, Griffin. Welcome to the Yowieville Museum. How may I be of service? Uh, asses. You have to divine if a flower will actually grow different colored flowers or flowers at all. So only certain genes of flowers work with the formations? Whew, more than one I see. Let us take a closer look, shall we? Yes, indeed, quite splendid. Alas, our museum already has fossils such as these! It's a damn shame. Is there a way to, like, check up on your completion rate? Because it sure feels like I've already just donated all of the fossils that I can, but I can swear that I haven't. I can swear that I'm nowhere close. From my understanding, yes. Cool! I hate it! At least that's taken care of. I didn't even know that these were like things that I was working towards. And sea creatures? But that water's gonna get cold! I don't wanna dive into that shit! Oh, wait, guy, wait a second! Guys, the last couple of Animal Crossing streams that I have done have both been on Sundays. And I have tried to change the flag numerous times, but on Sundays, Isabel is outside of resident services, and I have never been able to change it. Until now. You could check the fossil section yourself. Maybe it's a Nook Miles thing as well? Probably. I would trust Nook Miles telling me, but... With fish and earn miles along the way... DIY... Fossil assessment. 318 out of 500? But is th is this new fossils or just total fossils? Bonafide bone finder. Here's your first fossil. These are kind of all the ones with shovels on them, so I think that's all it tells you. Huh. Unless it's like one of these. Which I would have no idea of knowing. Yeah, no way. I think if it just happens, it happens. Yeah, that looks like bring Blathers 500 fossils, but not 500 new fossils. Oh, Griffin, good evening. How can I help you today? Let's talk island flags. You'd like to submit a new design for the flag? Great. Let's see what you came up with. <laughs> Oh my, Griffin! It's perfect in every way! It truly captures the essence of Yowieville. From this point forward, your design will be our new flag. Thank you for your submission. <laughs> oh, good god, what have I done? <laughs> I guess I'll take it at least to sell. 
And you never know when, you know, crafting supplies could come in handy. Even though I'm kind of convinced that they never will ever again <laughs> at this stage in the game, but... It just feels like it should be empty. Like that's my job to empty it. Like it's for me. Oh. Oh, it's magnificent. There's only one flag. I salute. <gasps> oh, great. Now what? There's, like, a better way to do this, right? Didn't they add a feature where you can, like, just get the full list on your phone? Because I feel like I've got some good ones, but, like... I am going to keep that one, but... I just want to access the full list without removing the ones that I currently have. Hmm... Sure. It's, an, it's a new one to me. Let's see. Turn guide off. It's tricky to get a good angle because of leaf, but... Respect the flag. <gasps> mm, I mean, I'll get it just in case. It's probably new. Wait, maybe not? I didn't get, like, the yes thing, so I think it's an old bug. Anyways, let's get selling. And maybe buying. If I'm feeling a little crazy tonight. Hmm. Unfortunately, no kitchen stuff, but... Oh my god. Seems like you're interested in a spooky scarecrow. In limited supply. I just might. Alright. No bones about it. I've got something to sell. Except there's a couple bones to speak of. Mmm. I already have wind flowers, right? So that's probably not very helpful to me. I'll keep those. I'll sell that. I'll sell that. I'll sell that. I'll keep that. I'll sell that. I'll sell that. And I'll keep that. Looking good. Ho oh, oh. ho! He is the problem. So what's this I hear about candy? There's even like fall decorations on the inside too. There's like pumpkins and leaves. One per customer per day? Oh no, I was expecting to sit here and having to like buy it and back out a million times. But I was gonna have the patience to get... Oh shit. First come, first serve, I guess. Damn. Thank you, thank you. I did not know that, that was a thing. But then again, of course it is. Because Nintendo games love to have bizarre restrictions on things like that. I should have seen it coming. I should have seen it coming. God damn it, Murphy, I hate you. Let's see. So what's next on the agenda here? I guess we can open this up. Dear Mysterious Stranger... A weird DIY TV show I watched at 2 a.m. told me to make this. So I did. Here's the recipe. I could have kept it for just me, but I like sharing fun stuff. You should try making it too. A, a boomerang? Oh, I think I will learn this. And I will use it to attack Murphy. And I think I already closed up the hole for this, so I'll just put it away normally. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's go talk to Leaf. Briefly. Leafly. Because I gotta get pumpkins from him. You can make gardens. Oh, hello. Isn't this the most perfect day to shop for flowers? And shrubs, too. You're so lucky because today I'm selling the beloved tea olive. This is the time of year when it looks its very best, so plant this little friend soon while it's in season. Oh, yes. I have some happy news to share with you. 
Since October and Halloween are such close friends, I decided to start selling pumpkin starts. Just a few days after planting my pumpkin starts, you'll have cheerful pumpkins eager to be picked. And watering your pumpkins makes them much happier. Happy pumpkins means even more to harvest. Pumpkins aren't like other produce. Sometimes they get so excited about growing that their color changes. There are four colors. Orange, green, yellow, and white. And you won't know which color it is until it grows. Pumpkins are so much fun. I sure hope you'll try raising some. I'd be happy to know what I can do for you today. Hmm. There's actually, yeah, some other plants that I might be interested in buying. I've been sitting on a bunch of bushes that I still have yet to do anything with, so that could be neat. Uh, but I think for now we'll go with these starts. And I'll take... Oh, let's take ten. So I can make, like, a nice layout with them. And so I can get, like, a nice diversity of, like, pumpkin colors. Quote-unquote day. <laughs> It is a bit of a shame, because on, on the few times that I have touched Animal Crossing for, like, non-stream reasons, like, this is a really fucking gorgeous game during the day. It's, like, okay at night, but it, it, just, it really just shines during the day. There's a lot of cool, like, effects that they do that you kind of go away at night. But that, alas, that's the, the streamer curse. But hear me out. Here, here's the thing is that when it comes to my front lawn, I've always been looking, and my backyard, frankly, this is looking kind of empty too, I've always been looking for more to do with this space, and I think making a garden would be a great idea. Hmm. It's already beginning to, like, come together in my head. So, here's gonna be step one. Is that I'm going to make, like, kind of a border around the edge here that matches the other stonework that I've already got for the rest of my, like, Yaoi mansion. And I'll leave a little bit of space between the chairs. But it'll make, like, a nice little square in the corner here, and I think that would be nice. Then, I can make the inside, like, a dark dirt path, because I think I've only used light dirt thus far. And then, I'll do the same thing to the other side, for a total of eight, and that can be where I put my pumpkins. And because I can only assume that later on they'll, like, go out of season, maybe I can, like, change it to a flower garden, when, uh... Winter goes away. Yo, this Genshin Impact ad that I'm watching right now looks sick. Guys, I don't want to get into Genshin Impact. I, like, briefly mentioned it during the Apple event that I streamed the other day, and I already started making people angry, but I gotta show you an ad that I saw on Twitter, that is... I retweeted it a couple of days ago, but it, it should be pretty recent on my profile. Let me bring this up. Because this has, like, such low numbers on it, and I need to talk about it. I need to talk about it. Let's see. Let's put it in a pip window. Let's get that nice and big. Let's center it. I need you guys to see this. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? What is this? Oh, this must be a fake ad. How can there be so many gold coins? You know what? I want to report you. Gee, I am not a fake ad. <gasps> what? Who's talking? It's me. Listen to me. If you don't want <laughs> it, you can download this game and try it. Fine, I'll try it. Nice. Okay, what do I do next? <laughs> Go to bed. What? Listen to me. Go to sleep. Next time, <laughs> it will surprise you. Okay. Go to hours later. Now. Open the game. <gasps> what? Why? How come there's so many gold coins? Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> 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 
That's amazing. Wait, what? What is that? <laughs> oh, must be another one of those fake ads. <laughs> See, I think those guys should advertise on Twitch. They make a killing. All right, let's get these pumpkin starters. And let's get started. This is my gardening hat. You're just jealous because you don't have as many gold coins in your game. <laughs> maybe, maybe so. Ooh, balloons? Don't mind if I do in just a moment. So I guess that'll be nice to come back to in a couple of days. See what these wind up becoming. See, what I'm still really like latching onto though is why Isabel said you can carve pumpkins. Because obviously you can in real life, but if you can't carve them in the game, then why would she say you can carve pumpkins? Because I think it's feasible. Like, if, if you can, like, make, like, a texture and then just, like, apply it to a pumpkin, like you would with, like, any, like, you know, like a design. I love the expression when he's swimming. Yeah. It's so well paced, because on its own, it's already pretty good, but that ending when he's swimming around, that's amazing. It's such the- it's just the perfect cherry on top. Gardening is like AFK arena. You go to bed and get plants. I'm gonna be swimming in pumpkins. You won't believe it. Yeah. So that accounts for some of the space. And then, and then, I can put one of my scarecrows next to it. Ooh, that's great. That's a great decoration. I love that. You guys ever think of that one Arthur episode where it's, where Arthur does like the, the Dean Howard scream and he goes, and then, and then, yeah! and then like the, the, he becomes like a town pariah and everybody hates him because he did the yell. Griffin, go the fuck to sleep. That's amazing. I'm going to wake up to so much yaoi. <gasps> Listen to me. Pull out your bug net. No, not behind the house. We ain't doing this. Must be another one of them fake scorpions. One more. One more and that's going to do the trick, I think. It's been a while. That's amazing. I'm also going to get you too while I'm at it, because why not? I'm on a rampage. No new bug types, unfortunately, at this time of year at least. Or maybe this time of day. Sometimes it's a combination of the both. Can you like get slightly away from me? But not that far away, but not that close. But not that close. Not that much fun. Not that much fun! <gasps> I can't believe it. You know what? I'm gonna leave these guys to cause trouble, because maybe... How do you not want to leave yet? I feel like everybody in my village has asked me to leave except for Murphy. I guess the trick is to, like converse with my other villagers more often to keep them placated so that Murphy is like the lowest common denominator. Because right now everyone is like on equal standing because I'm neglecting them all equally. But if I start like giving lots of attention to my other villagers, then, then that's the problem. They just all stay inside at this hour, so I don't think to do it that often. He loves you. Who, Murphy? Or the, the lion tiger man from the ad? buy an amiibo card how much are those to get because the, they're like blind boxes right but if you want to like get one for a specific character how much is that oh right that's the balloon i popped not bad i haven't seen flicker cg in a while though so he's looking up walkthroughs on how to romance you murphy ew
anywhere from $2 to $200. I do not want to date Nick Robinson of all the Animal Crossing characters I could choose from. That would be the absolute last. Speaking of chat, if you had to date an Animal Crossing character, who would it be? Alright, let me think. Yeah, let's go visit some other neighbors. Because nobody's seen me in a long time. They're all missing me out here. Wolfgang! Oh, he's got his maid dress out and he's eating a sandwich! He is living the life. Hey now, Griffin. Few of us were starting to wonder how, where you got to. How you been? The way you just disappeared one month ago? We figured it was all some kind of hush-hush thing. I know a thing or two about keeping a secret, let me tell you. Like this one time that <laughs> almost had me. Ah well, good to see you. Don't be a stranger. Yeah, but tell me about you. What have you been up to? What's the latest? Goku does not count! I should probably eat a sandwich. I think we all should, every now and again. Alright, kiddo. Just answer. Don't think about it. Rainy, sunny, or cloudy day? Pick one. Uh, rainy. Rainy. Ah, look at you. Not everyone appreciates a rainy day, but they should. Snarl. From the sound to the smell, there's just something about the rain that soothes the soul. Yes, sirree. It takes someone of character to find joy in a drizzly day, and I knew you'd be one of them. See, I was just thinking of, like, the AS, like, the sound, the ASMR of rain. But then Wolfgang got to talking about the smell, I'm like, oh, fuck. I like me some rain. I'll talk to you one more time. I'm not really even sure why I have my ironwood kitchenette. I'm not much of a chef, to be honest. I either burn or boil everything I eat. I thought you were like offering it to me, but that's nice. Yo, this dude's got a nice fridge. Got that French doors. Mmm. Terry Bogard is not an Animal Crossing character. Just say Raymond like an honest freak and get it over with. Oh, that's right, because cause I needed to make pear furniture all those months ago. Huh? There you are, Griffin. Man, where you been? You can't just disappear without saying anything. I missed you so much! Check me out. I'm doing stuff! I'm making me a spooky fence. One of the bugs in the floor whispered the DIY instructions in my ear while I was sleeping last night. So I gotta build it before I forget what it even is. Check it out! Plans for a spooky fence. Uh, I can teach you if you want. Yeah, teach me. Leave it to me. I got it all scribbled down right here. So just read this. Um, you're gonna need pumpkins for that, but they're real easy to grow. Give it a try, Burn. I need to use pumpkins as crafting ingredients? No, I gotta go on my Nook phone. This is amazing. I gotta go on my Nook phone and, and check out the app. How are pumpkins needed for this? This just looks like an iron fence to me. That could be cool, though. Halloween is just inherently gay, so I think... that that would go well for my Yowie Mansion. What if Johnny Vampire? <laughs> Ooh, let's go see Sherb. I like me some Sherb. Fine, Ganon. I guess that technically counts. There was like... An amiibo update for New Leaf that like added some other things like that, right? Are you able to add those? To New Horizons? Because I think it would be cool if I had like a, like a Wolf Link villager. I'd be down with that. Griffin, where have you been? I feel like it's been a while. I saved a snack to eat with you, but then I forgot which pocket it was in, and I sat on it. I'll get another one. Then we can eat that one together, Ba. What's up, Ba? Wednesdays always make me miss that TV show I watched every week when I was little. Furniture for Hire was about a couch who wanted to be a detective. Hmm, I might have imagined that one. 
God, I love Sherb's, like, palette. His aesthetic. This dude's got a gayer room than me, my God. I already talked to Apollo. <gasps> oh! Yeah, I'm not gonna talk to Mira. That's the other replaceable one. Uh, but where is... Where's Audi off to? Maybe she's in the museum. In which case, I guess we're just not seeing her today. I don't think I talked to Sterling after he asked if he could move. But let's do that to ensure he wants to stay. Oh, how you doing, Scraw? I want to chat. There's a lot of empty space in this area, so it's perfect for an outdoor training program. I've got it all planned out. We'll do push-ups, sit-ups, chin-ups, and then squats. What? All those exercises can be done inside? Holy protein shakes, you're right! You think this area looks empty? But there's a chair right here, come on! Unless he's talking about the beach, which is sadly still very sparse. I could, I could add workout equipment to the beach, and it would work. Just saying. Maybe I should take that to heart. Yeah, let me think. If I were to, let's see. So I have two villagers that I still want to replace in Mira and Murphy. So, do, 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 do. what am I looking for in the map? So you can see that down here, that flanking the entrance from the airport and um, flanking the entrance to resident services, I have like a nice little village down there where all the houses are together. But Murphy is exiled because I don't like him. However, up here, then we've got Birdie Boulevard, where everybody and Raymond lives. But, if I add another villager slash replace Murphy, then I need to find a spot for two more houses, and I don't know where I would put them. Maybe that could be, like, that space to the right of that cliffside garden that I've got behind my house, because that's still kind of blank, but I think it would just be nice if, like, it was with one of those two groups. And I only want the birds to be up on the cliffs, you know, because of the flying. Have you played Genshin Impact? <laughs> please! Please stop asking me! I'm trying my best to avoid making people angry! God, what a flag. Let's see. If I have to use the pumpkins as crafting supplies, then maybe I should get some more. Let's see, yeah. I'll get one more. I'll take me to 12 if I get two. I'll take two. <gasps> no, 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 My fucking desperate desire for symmetry is going to make this take forever. How many do I have right now? Nine? I guess I have to get one more. Or I can buy in bulk, and then that'll take me to 14, which I think I would like to do instead. Because if I only get 10, and I divide that by 2, then that means there's 5 on both sides. And if my garden is 2 by 2, then that means there's an uneven number of pumpkins. And I will not have it! I won't be angry, I'll just say you should play it. Well, I, 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 <laughs> I won't. Griffin, I know a video game. This feels like the the fucking come macrame with me video where she keeps falling for the owls. And I'm just going to be like, "Well, I'm always interested in what a child has to and then I turn around and I look at what the chat's saying like, "Ah! Oh, it's Genshin Impact." Which you know, is it is a timely reference from fucking ten years ago? <laughs> but 
wait a second. 14 divided by 2 is still 7, so it's gonna be uneven. See, so, like, some of these pumpkins will be to keep. I'll take, like, the good ones, whatever the nice ones wind up being. Because I haven't actually seen the colors in person yet. And big meme arrows on in person, but... I'll have, like, some decorative pumpkins and then some functional pumpkins. Shit, it's gonna be uneven. It's gonna be uneven. I guess this is the way it's gotta be. If it's only temporary, though, we'll see. Oh, and I should make sure that I should be watering these. Now this is cozy. Is it doom? It is not doom. Is it mood? That's a good Mega64 video. I think. And there we go. That should do it. Wait a second. I didn't water these back ones. There we go. Oh, and I never got the chance to see how the, the lighthouse looked with this view. Let's see. You know what? I can see the light from back here, and I think that's all I need. Yeah, I can't really see the tower itself, but I guess that's fine. It's probably the best I'm gonna get. Because, let's see, this is one, two, three, four, so I can't place the lighthouse on that highest uh, hill, because you can't climb up onto it. Let's see... Decoratively, I think that does it for now, though. I like what I've put together here. Let me think. Like, I can put st some stuff away, I guess, but... As far as, like, stuff that comes with the update, I don't think there's anything else. So, maybe we can do island visitations now? Send some codes my way. And then when I'm done with this, I can go to the airport. And I'll take my silly little hat off. Yeah, I think I must have just accidentally put this music on by myself, although I really didn't mean to. And then maybe you guys live in weird-ass parts of the world, like, dare I say, the K-Funk. Let's go. Like, dare I say, the East Coast. And I'll find new bugs there. And this is gonna be first come, first serve, so... It's a Chris. Get those island codes hot and ready. What the hell? Is oh. I like saw the silhouette of of this and I thought it was like <laughs> like a swarm of bees because it was like a, like a dark mass like that. It was like moving a little bit. That scared me. This still hasn't really solved the front lawn problem, but once I find like more breeds of flowers, I think this would be a, a beautiful place to, to put a bunch here. And then I can have this road do something. Also, there was like a like a whoosh noise. Is there a balloon nearby? It was like kind of a scary whoosh noise. It didn't sound like the usual balloon. It was like a ooh. My switch is almost dead. I better hurry. Oh shit! Yeah, there's it's logging on right now. I'm not seeing Chris online. So what's that tell you? Yeah, I don't think I have anything I need to bring with me. Hey, by the way, so this isn't something that I've tried since, I guess, the, the birthday Animal Crossing stream that I did. Whenever I had the McKeedy's thing made, whenever they first added the Sunday fireworks shows, but... So iOS 14 is out of beta. Is the Switch Online app still broken, or does it work now? <gasps> Oh no, Chris has the island code sooner than it's! But it's a switch is almost dead! What do I do? Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to your one and only gateway to the skies, the Yaoiville Airport. 
How can I help you out today? I want to fly. Mm, wait. I just got like a message from somebody. What does it say? Oh, just it saying I'm online. Well, I'm not seeing Chris saying that Chris is online, so... Codes don't need people there, do they? Uh... That's a good point, because you have to, like, open the gates to, to visit, right? Via online play. In the future, this is how we will all type. Griffin, you gotta use a bed. What? I have not done this before. Wait, do you want the dream address? I don't know what the fuck any of this means! I'm just gonna go to its. Ah, drumsticks. Looks like there aren't any islands we can take it to right now. Sorry about that. So it's, are you on the way to opening your gate? I don't know what the fuck a dream code is. I think we should just do an, a standard visit. If you've already got the game open, it's, it shouldn't be too tricky to open your gates. Are you at least, like, near a charger? <laughs> or do I have, like, a limited amount of time to visit before your Switch dies, is what you're trying to say. Then yeah, I do. <laughs> you lie in bed and a tapir with huge Robertsons lets you put in a code to enter a version of someone's island that they uploaded without them. Well, does it have one of those? Does any bed work? I thought beds were just decorative. Can it be like a neighbor's bed? I'll just, I'll, you know, break into somebody's house or... See, this is the final step in Murphy's ultimate plan. It's just opened their gates, goddammit! I'm trampling my own flowers for you. I hope you know this. God damn it, Alice! Listen to me. Go to bed. <laughs> I feel like so careful navigating with these. Because B is accelerate and cancel. So I'm trying to get through this as quickly as I can. I uh, search for a friend? Okay, kids. Let's see. Yes, Cloud Isle. Let's fly. That is such a realistic looking suitcase in the back. Holy moly. Alrighty then, you're all set. And we do- oh. When you need to travel, just think, what would our dodo do? Oh, I, mi I missed this. I missed this little jingle. This is cute. And the logo. God, graphic design is my passion. Alright, it's... For all this time investment, it better be worth it. I'm looking forward to it, though. You've got a good design sense, if your Mario Maker levels have have taught me anything. This is your captain. We are almost to Cloud Isle, so return your seat to the upright position and make sure your seatbelt is securely fastened. Local time is 11.05pm. We've got clear skies and the temperature is comfortable. Well, right off the bat, I'm loving your paths. 
We'll be making a water landing, but that's okay because this is a seaplane. I don't got much, but I'll show you around. Yeah, give me a tour. Oh, I love this gate. What's your flag? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yes! Oh, thank you. It's made solidarity. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Oh! Look at all these miles I'm getting! I wanna clap. I wanna clap. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. This is so powerful. The bow goes really well with the rest of the outfit, too. That's like a step up for me. Oh, wow. Look at all these flowers. Look at all the... Ooh. What villagers you got? Hamlet. That's a funny... That's a funny one. I like Hamlet. Different music at this hour, too. <gasps> well, I'm getting scooted. Well, hello. <gasps> Mint, you're adorable! I don't think I've seen you around here before. Here to visit from Yaiville, are you? Oh, but where are my manners? I'm Mint. Pleased to meet you. And you are? Well, Griffin, you have a new friend on this island. Do stop by and say hello when you're here. I just did. That's a cute one. And this is a Mint house? Is it, dare I say, Mint's house? That's good. Clap! Please clap. <gasps> Ooh! See, I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not getting visited by tapirs at the moment. What is this? Is this for me? Or were your like pockets full? Ooh, treasure! This is a fun decoration, and the binoculars right in front of the seat. That's cool. I'm gonna scoop past here. A lot of palm trees too. I should do that with my island. I think that would help my, my beach density. Oh, wow. See, never mind. Chris, it has this flower game fucking locked. Hello. Vesta. We've never met, right? I'm Vesta. And your name is Griffin? I like that name a lot. Whenever you're here visiting Cloud Isle, please look me up, Baffo. Baffo these nuts! Did you teach them to say that or is that a- Whoa! This is where you live, it's? This is like a nicer streamer mansion than my streamer mansion. Oh, the outdoor workbench is a great idea. I don't think I have one of those. I like your little wreath on the door, too. It's cute. <gasps> oh no! This is also very good. <laughs> Roach chasing music. Baffo is default. Okay. A lot of this is in progress. Is it? Is it so? Ooh. Oh, having music for the different rooms is a great idea. Why, why haven't I thought of that? We got a running shower. We have sync, guys. I have a sync story. I'll tell them a little bit later during Paper Mario, but my god. I like the walls, too, and the floor. This one's nice. I will clap. Yeah! Yeah, that way there's, like, a little more utility to, like, collecting all this music. You don't have to choose just one out of the whole list. You can, like... Have a selection of favorites. Why during Paper Mario? I uh, just because I think I don't have. I'm probably not going to be doing Animal Crossing for much longer. The money room. The money room. Like I said, streamer mansion. Yeah. Twenty three on. Is that the actual time? It is the actual time. Wait, you have the gold rose? Fucking how? That's cool. That's a hell of a decoration to have for an in-progress town. 
Oh, we, we, <laughs> we like merged into one made singularity for a second there. Ooh. Oh, this is such a nice kitchen. Oh, I love these countertops. A little bit of a Robin vibe tonight. See, how the fuck do people get, like, nice tables and chairs? Oh, look at the fridge. Oh, man. I can never get a hold of any of this shit. Oh, this is cool. I like this room. Got a little, like, seafood menu, too. That's nice. Oh, the rose was a gift. I like my kitchen and bathroom. I like your kitchen and bathroom, too. For a work in progress, I would say that that looks, like, very finished. We're going upstairs first? Okay. I'm very curious to see if you went for, like, an actually nice idea for your basin, or if you made it evil and scary. <gasps> Die! I see what you mean about the work in progress a little bit more up here, though. Still, that you have the space is a good sign. I bet, like, you're probably gonna be able to do a bit more with it than I am. Good wallpaper, though. I can kind of already see what you're going for with the starry wallpaper and the little star lamp there. <gasps> no idea for basement and attic. <gasps> oh, good! All the pesky cockroaches are gone. I feel so much better now. Was that was that was I doing that for the both of us, or do we all have like our own sets of roaches? I wonder. Anyways, good at flooring and wallpaper here too. <gasps> There's even like a parallax between like different layers of stars. That's really nice. Even even though it's like empty and there's no furniture yet, I still think it's better than what I did for my basement. I still think it's nicer <laughs> than mine. You cleared them for me? Oh, and you just let me? I'm wearing fishnets, it's they probably just crawled through the holes and they're inside now. Oh man, the bushes. I've really got to get on these. I still don't have any of these in my town. You know what? I think I have some in storage, though. Maybe I can do that for a bit when I get back. I love this. This feels like a lot- see? I don't know. I've got some spaces that are, like, kind of neat, I think. But this just feels like so much more lived in. You got all these street lights and paths and roads and flowers. It's so nice. You can lead the way. You can lead the way. Go on. Lead, lead the way. Lead the way as I push you in this direction and make you decide for me. Book? What does book mean? You have big guts on your feet. Oh, bug guts. Griffin can't read. Do we all have our own sets of roaches? <laughs> Isn't an ominous question. Oh, is this for me? Thanks, I think. <gasps> Ooh, black tulips. Cool. Who lives here, I wonder? Vesta. Okay. Jesus, that's so many flowers. It's so good. I love shit like this. <gasps> Based. Marina. I don't remember seeing you before. Are you visiting here from some far-off island? And your name's Griffin. Well, it's really great to meet you. Please, call me Marina. I just love meeting new friends. I love the... Squid? Octopus villagers? That's Able Sisters, okay. Yeah, this is nice. I feel like this is, like... It's not as dense, but I think that's to its benefit, honestly. It kind of lets each villager have, like, more of a distinct spot on the map, rather than me living in, like, one mansion. And that's definitely, like, the Griffin spot, but then everyone else kind of just doesn't really have a very distinct space to occupy. 
but you know, there's not really any way to undo that mistake now. Zucker's house. I like this squiggly path here, too. Lionel's house. I can take a wild guess as to who that is. Now we will squiggle. Aw, oh, man, and having, like, a distinct campsite location, too? Guys, I think, I think Yaiville was a mistake. It's dawning on me, like, 20-something parts later. I think I may have gone wrong. There's, like, lots of bridges, too, which I'm always a fan of. Tex's house. I want to see Tex. I want to see something decay. Ooh. I like Tex. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Count Tex du Cloud Isle. And just kidding. I didn't move here all that long ago. Anyways, what's your name? Griffin, eh? Cool. Pun entirely intended. Hope to see you around more, Griffin. Yo, nice vinyl collection. Nice shooting text. <laughs> Let's see, so there's a ledge up here, but is there any way to just keep going in this direction? I'm just gonna make sure to stay in Itz's periphery. Yeah, nice little pond up here. Not a penis pond, but... Ooh, there's like an orchard. Whoa! This, this shit's all over mine. This is so much better. Oh my god. Now that is a collection of fruits. God, I just, I, the bushes, man. Those are so good. Melba's house. <laughs> Melba tees nuts. Ah, <gasps> Melba. I like Melba. Look at her funny little pajamas. Hi there, nice to meet you. My name's Melba. I haven't seen you around, so I'm guessing you're here visiting? Toasty? That's great. Your name's Griffin? I hope I pronounced that right. And now you've got at least one friend from Cloud Isle. Yeah. One. What, what's... Can I check what's playing right now? It's currently playing KK Stroll. This reminds me of, like, the, the walking dog music from Animal... from, uh, Nintendogs. Which I think is a very good thing. Guys, I know I talk about this a lot. I miss Nintendogs. <laughs> I miss those funny little puppers. One smiley face. <laughs> now, pray tell... What, what is the process for these single patches of, like, dirt path. I guess it's just to, like, curve around the body, or maybe it's, like, a clock. Maybe it is a- it does go all the way around. Then you've got, you know, your 12 and 9 and 6 and 3. Although this isn't really a 6 as much as it is maybe, like, a- like a 4 to 530. <laughs> I'm assuming it's just typing the explanation for the dirt- it's a star pond! Oh, it is a star! And here I am, Griffin Galactic. I don't even have a star pond of my own. Just a stupid fucking Keaton pond and a penis pond. Ooh, this is a good spot for a museum. Ooh, and you... See, I did kind of the opposite with my stairs leading to my museum. Where mine are kind of facing inwards, but I like facing outwards. And then you have houses down here. That's a good move. Sherry! BT dubs. I know who you are. I said no to you once. I can do it again. This is Sherb's house. Good taste. It's good taste. Ooh. Now this is a big rock. Now rocks I can get into. The dirt is just every other. It's not even, and it drives me nuts. Oh, hey, speaking of not even, 
Although you did find a way to like align it well with the trees. I guess you could say it's well aligned. Whoa, look at those flowers up there. That's cool. And you got some good rocks back here. Oh, this is just a star pond again. For some reason, I just didn't notice these flowers before. I don't mean to abandon you down there. You've got a ladder, right? I've abandoned my boy! And that's all my island. Well, thank you for the tour, it's... I think it looks really, really nice for an unfinished island. I think it has... about as many, if not less, blank spots than mine, so... And certainly more bushes, my god. It's good inspiration, though. I'd love to have, like... Oh my god, there's two stairs side by side! This is a flex! Like, yeah, I don't need these for anything else. I'll just put two right next to each other. God, that's so good. It needs a lot of weeding. Well, hey, so did mine, in all fairness. I think that can go for a lot of us, for sure. Well, whatever it was when I first visited, um, it's definitely a step up. So I'm looking forward to seeing... Like, if it looks this good now, you know, I'm really looking forward to what finished is going to look like by your standards, because goddamn. God, that's such a pretty gate, too. I thought the only one of those that existed was, like, seashell themed, but I guess there's more gates that you can get? Sure makes you wonder if there was a rainbow gate. I mean, it is naturally arch-shaped after all. Howdy! Always good to have visitors to Cloud Isle. Can I help you with something? I want to go home, Danny. Roger. Let's go home. And please, if you need to talk to me, anything. Alright, clear skies to ya. Well, thank you very much for inviting me. Now to figure out how beds work. Like, I vaguely remember some sort of visiting feature that was in New Leaf and people were mad that it wasn't in it and then they brought it over in an update, but I never used it in New Leaf. I never visited other people's towns like that, so I have no idea how it works. I'll try going to my house and going to my bed and seeing what I can find, though. Thanks for the compliments. I didn't know what I was doing at all because it's my first Animal Crossing village ever. Now you know what you're doing. I think it came together really nicely. Great, especially for a first. Yeah, I'm sure if I were to go to my, like, new leaf village, it's fucking nothing compared to that. My god. Yeah, having the customization features, like, people get bored of it. But it's, it's definitely cool to, like, at the end of the day, to visit someone's town like that and just have, like, a... Such a unique layout like that that you, you really wouldn't get in any other Animal Crossing game. So I'm still really thankful that this is like a feature that's a thing, because... Goddamn. I guess you could say that this is also a bit of a bridge stair flex, but... To me, I think that this is necessary. I don't think there's any other way to have a Yowie Mansion without doing this. See, but I don't have a fountain directly outside of mine. I've only got one in the town square, so maybe that could be a good consideration for what to put out on the front. Maybe once I get the flowers, I'll have, like, flowers in a fountain, and that could be cute. Let's see. I sleep up here. It's been so long. <laughs> yeah, I'll get, like, more music systems. That could be a good idea. Should I get some sleep? Only my dreams looked like this. <gasps> oh my god, she is thick! If I am not mistaken, 
You are from Yowieville, yes? You must be the famous griffin. <coughs> yeah, famous. A good guess. Hmm. Few dream as pleasantly as those from Yowieville. <laughs> uh, forgive me. I've yet to introduce myself. My name is Luna. Think of me as a guide to the Library of Dreams. The Library of Dreams? A dream is but a manifestation of a memory that one holds dear, then chooses to upload to the internet. <laughs> My role is to ferry travelers between dreams, allowing one such as you to tour the islands of distant strangers. What if this did come to you in a dream? I to appear explaining the internet to you. More like infamous. <laughs> Once within the dream of another, it will be as though you have actually set foot on their islands. Sounds fascinating, does it not? To visit another's dream, merely say to me, I want to dream. And this need not be a one-way matter, either. If you wish, I can collect your dream of Yowieville as well. Then I will spirit your dream throughout channels of fiber optics to live in the library and be shared with the world. I love the lore being combined with the reality of it being the internet. Well, now that we have the introductions out of the way, how may I be of assistance? I want to dream. I want to wake up! Of course, of course. Uh, but there are a few things I must clarify further before I guide you to your dream. I will be a guide on your quest. Uh, dreams, like many things these days, are downloaded from the internet. A connection is, of course, required. Uh, furthermore, a dream address, an identity unique to each dream, is also needed. So before dreaming, be sure you have your desired dream address at the ready. Yeah, uh, Chris just re reposted it in chat. This reminds me of Link's Awakening. I still haven't played that. I'm, I'm sorry. It's That's on me. Oh, one other wrinkle. One other wrinkle's awakening. Dreams are very fragile things. To prevent the introduction of glitches, you must go empty-handed. And don't worry. I'll happily hold on to your belongings and return them after you wake. I believe that covers everything. Now, are you ready to link with the Library of Dreams? No. Then I shall connect to the internet to initialize a dream download. You should? It's cool. Man, I don't doubt it. I just... I can barely justify, like, $5 purchases at the moment. Okay, what is his dream address? Also, I just, like, bit and ripped a hangnail. I don't know if that's a good cut, but, like, a little bit of, hang, you know, nail. And I did it so casually and so, like, like it was nothing, and I, now I'm bleeding like crazy, so that's good. I'm just going to kind of keep that finger off the controller. Um, so let's see. 4, 1, 8, 2, 7, 3, 0, 1, 6, 0, 7, 4. And I guess if anybody else wants to visit Chris's town, then there you go. Right on screen there for you. Panarctica. Splendid! Then everything is sorted. Please close your eyes and relax. Griffin, have small fingernail clippers on your desk so you can always reach for it when you think a nail is too long. It's not even that. They're at, like, a normal length. It, God, that is a lot of blood. Um, perhaps hangnail is the wrong term. Maybe I'm what I'm describing is not the word that I used. Also, that's a cute loading icon. It's like when you got a nail, right, as many do, and there's, like, just kind of not, like, the front of the nail, but, like, like a very thin bit off to the side. It's like, I'll just kind of get that out of the way. I'm already in jail. Open your eyes. You are now in a deep slumber, dreaming peacefully of an island named Panarctica. Oh no, I'm gonna get hypnotized again! When you wish to awaken from this dream, you need only lie down on this bed. I will take care of the rest. Also, should you have any questions or need advice about dreams, please do not hesitate to ask. And with that, may your dream of Panarctica be a sweet one. Sweet dreams. You can still get that with clippers. Is that what a hangnail is, though? Also, yeah, there's like a kind of like a blurred vignette off to the sides. So that's interesting. Ooh! Okay. I guess because they, they're like Santa. They've got glasses and then it's white and red. 
that is a good spot for a fossil. Yeah, and there's a sled. Oh, this is good. The back-to-back -back stairs are also a cute touch. <gasps> Ooh! Look at all the snow globes. And they're all, like, rotated differently, too. Oh, wait, whoa! That's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of snow globes! Oh, shit! This is what I'm talking about! I guess these are kind of like reindeer. But, like, with flanking. With fossils. Also, this is an adorable villager. Who are you? Eric? I love you, Eric! I didn't know there were villagers that looked like this in Animal Crossing. I'd say from right out of my dreams, but you don't look much like a sandwich. Guys, I'm sorry. I think I would date this villager. <laughs> it's actually an electronics kit to symbolize the wires from the towers going underground for the residential area. Oh, so you buried something there on purpose. I love Eric, but Hopper's probably my favorite now. I think I grew up with um Hopper on City Folk. Whoa, look at this. What's back here? Secrets, I, I, I must assume. We got a phone booth. Ooh, you can have like a winter themed one. That's so cute. And I'm sure the positioning of these rocks is no coincidence. This strikes me as something that has like a lot of effort put into it as well. Also, good like side paths to the beach. This is like a good hub. Ooh! That kind of sounded like Megalovania. <laughs> like the first three notes. You are Flood. And they're named Cube. Coincidence? I think not. Hmm? What's going on now? Have we met? More importantly, where is my pillow? Those are Flood's eyes. You can't convince me otherwise. This is a genius idea for a beach, Chris. I love this. That was the town square. You might notice, it's a square. Good palm tree distribution as well. I don't know how the lifeguard's gonna be able to see anything from there. They're gonna be fucking blinded. Whoa. <gasps> are, are you real? I can't tell if this is like an NPC of Chris or if this is the real Chris and we're meeting in our dreams. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, it's an NPC. That's funny that, that you can like hang around as a villager. An apparition. The rocks actually naturally spawned like that. I didn't do the poke coins everywhere to force spawns thing. See, the strategy that I've heard from a uh, cleric is to put mannequins everywhere, because then when you change the design, they all disappear at once. So once you have the rocks where they are, that's like an easier way to clean up. Hello. Oh, this is a funny instrument, Hans. Oh, have we met? Groovy, I'm sure. Welcome to the fabulous Panarctica, Dreamer. They all have like unique dialogue specifically for when you meet them in dreams, which is also kind of cool. Bianca, I remember you. A new face, yay! Are you like one of my fans? I mean, of course you are. Be honest now. Is meeting me a dream come true? Ganky. It has to be, because, you know, this is a dream, and you're meeting me, so there you have it. Hey, Femi. These are also some good supplies to have out next to the... the campsite. <gasps> a thermos! It's an Alan Wake dream! It's not a lake. It's Panarctica. It's not delivery, Alice. God damn it, Alice! It's Delicio! It sure is a lot of trees. Imagine trying to hunt for bees in a place like this. But you, hold up, hold up, hold up. I gotta... I've got a theory about that one as well. Let me get back out of the woods here. Which, by the way, actually a cool idea to have a dense forest like that in your village. Why not? Boomer! Fuck you. Not interested. Okay, Boomer. Let me, like, go back up here, because I bet, yeah, looking out across the sea of trees, it looks like it just kind of goes on forever. Whoa. <laughs> this is cool. Didn't know that that was a thing that you could have. 
Chris. Chris, you have mail. I like that the manhole covers have their own, like, step sounds. That's good. You have, like, an outdoor office? Or rather, Fang does. Who is Fang? Sounds like a wolf. I like me some wolves. Genki was for Audi, but it spread. I'll never get my mail. Why not? Oh, <gasps> wait a second. Oh, no. I don't remember you. There's, like, another white wolf that I also had in, in my Wii Animal Crossing. Whoa, it's you. Sorry, where are my manners, Chomp? I had this dream that someone came to visit me, and they were this spitting image of you. It's uncanny. Mm, what came next? Oh, I was surprised and said, Whoa, it's you. And then I told you about this dream. Guys, I'm going to be honest. This is another very dateable Animal Crossing villager. Because there was another... I forget the name. I think their name was like Chris or something. But they were like a punk jacket. But they kept calling me Alpha, and I didn't like that. If it's Whitney, she's here too. Oh, it is Whitney! Aw, oh, that's so cool that there's like this much of an overlap. Anyways, there was another male wolf that also had like eyeshadow like this. But I, I, I couldn't let him into my village because he talked to me as if he was a bottom. This one, though, he's got that deep voice. He's got that nice fur. <coughs> Anyways, let's go find Whitney. But why the outdoor office? I guess he's a wolf. He's got to do his business outside. I'll go to Chris's house last, I think. Yeah, everyone has, like, their own kind of personalized Whitney's house. Let's go. No, Wolfgang lives with me. And Wolfgang does not talk to me like a bottom. He's a dad. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Whitney, it's been so long. Oh, she looks so cool in HD. I can't properly entertain you at the moment, but you're welcome to make yourself comfortable. Just don't go and do anything strange simply because this is a dream, Snappy. Snappy! Actually, darling, I take that back. Now is the perfect time to do something weird. Her dress is so cute, too. Oh my god. Chris! Did you propose to Whitney? Is this your wolf wife? That's nice. These are bringing back some good memories of all the times that I have with City Folk. Although, apparently, I'm not allowed to have those because of what Animal Crossing fans think of that game. Whoa. Now this is a hell of a flex. For how to have your front lawn to look. Okay, Audi. I'm familiar. Rolled. We got we to see Rolled. This is the one with the, with the funny Twitter account, right? No? Then who's she married to? It's gotta be someone. Yes. I fucking love this penguin's eyes. Welcome to my dream home. Or, since it's your dream, is it your dream home? Whitney is good. I'm just looking through the wolf villagers on the wiki, and for whatever reason, it makes me want to read the fucking Animal Crossing manga I can't remember the name of. There's also, like, a movie... From, like, the GameCube era, right? I've still never seen that one. Oh, my God. Now, these are some fish. Hopper! Let's go! Beast stars. That's what it was. Are you sure about that? Oh, you just said animal manga. I inserted Animal Crossing manga <laughs> into that. <laughs> because, of course, I did. A lot of icy indoor decor. Why, hello. Why don't you go make yourself at home? Go on and take a look around if you like, slushy. Hopper looks really good in HD, too. Look at his flappy little feet. He's amazing. Yeah, animal manga. <laughs> I get it now. Hopper was a fisher in the Animal Crossing movie, so now he fishes and cooks them outside of his house. Oh, Chris, this is so big-brained. I wish I thought to do this, this kind of stuff with my villagers. Like, they're actually, like, built around their personality. It's so cool. This one's got kind of like a TV station. Who lives here? Bianca, okay. She's right down there, right? Ooh, now this is a cool cliffside entrance straight to level 3, baby. My zigzag is, like, 
across a bridge too so it takes a little bit longer to to ascend like this but that's cool i like that a lot like the composition of these cliffs Ooh, and having the level three go straight into the level two and then going straight down ah oh, that's amazing You've got some great natural formations, and you know, natural with air quotes, but this is some really impressive terraforming. I like this a lot. Got a nice little pool back here. That's nice. How could it be so cruel, House? If only the cliff climb was as dangerous as the one it's based on. By the way, Chris, you got a stray branch back brack, brack here, just so you know. There's the other side of this. Yeah, there's like, there's like, can I get a map of this? Whoa, that's how this is laid out. It just cuts through the whole town. Now that's efficient. But there's something, oh, there's just weeds. I thought there was like a fucking body in the woods. Also the fake bush to hide Red's hidden beach. I might have missed that. I might have actually fallen for it. Oh yeah, it's back there. Well, there's a house I've got to visit, so... I'm sure I'll come back around one more time. So who lives up here? Deep in the woods. What? Why oh, don't I have a ladder? Am I just unable to access that? I wonder who lives there. If there's no stairs and I can't... Oh, okay. I can do this. And it's a dream so I can trample as many flowers as I want. <laughs> it wasn't a dream. It really happened. Oh, this is Hans. Why does Hans have... Like, the, the one who is separated like this. Hans is separated because he's a yeti. And they like to live alone in the cliffs. Oh... This is also really good museum decoration. I like that, too. Yeah, what fake bush? Oh, I see it now. That's funny. That's a cute detail. My town is ladder and pole free. I know I already talked to you, but I fucking love Eric. I just want to see him again. Usually dreams kind of fade away into your memories, but I can just tell that this one is different. Yeah, and you're different, too, Eric. <laughs> Also, I wanted my house to be with the others, and it created an odd number where I kind of couldn't. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm kind of a little bit in a situation like that myself. I mean, not yet. Right now, things are in a delicate balance, but the moment I get a hold of a new villager, that's it. Let's see. Let's think. So if I want to get to all the houses, that is... Yeah, up. I've gone too far down. It's on this level. Oh, it actually makes like bloopy noises when you play with it. That's fun. Alright. Next stop, Chris is home. With a village? Like, imagine! Like, you had to flatten the entire island. Cut a straight river through it. The amount of work that that takes alone. Like, look at this! It's like a Santa's workshop! He's making all these toys. He's checking his list. Pay close attention, chat. Or else. Oh, this one's like an evil gnome. Oh my god, look at his sunglasses. That's great. Well, already amazing first impressions on that one. Ooh. Whoa, there's actually like rainfall in the background. I don't have any of these animated wallpapers. Oh, this is delightful. The music's a great fit too. An indoor garden. I can barely like get around through all these toys. And the posters of the original villager. How do you get your hands on something like that, I wonder? Yo, know, they got any iPhone 12s here? <gasps> Ooh, kind of a gallery. A little bit of a refined taste in here. 
and also a bedroom. Oh, I bet this has like a HHH Greg high rating. Look at the shininess of that texture on the bed sheets. That is nice. Also, what's playing right now? Can I access? It's a phonogram, and no, I cannot. It's a maid room? Ho hold on, I gotta turn around. I gotta look at this with fresh eyes. Excuse me? Yeah, there's tea, there's a little tea cart. You got some bread. Let's get this bread. Wow, it was made for me. And I say that M-A-I-D. Yeah, there's like some cleaning stuff here. Now this is taste. My friend gave me the posters, and I figured I could use them because you make toys for the kids. It's meant to be a greenhouse to have plants in a harsh arctic climate. Well, this is about to get even more realistic once fall comes and goes. Also, good pink computer. <laughs> See, like, I have a room full of maid dresses, but it doesn't look like that. Like, these rooms are such, like, well-designed and considered spaces. This really puts my home to shame. Speaking of, this is like a, like a clothes room. Like, this is also what mine could look like, and it just doesn't... The clothes line! Why aren't I like this? I'm creative! Why, do I, why don't I do shit like this? Step one, though, find more tables. Man, I would love to, like, get a hold of an idea like this and just, like, go nuts with it. I guess I just haven't really been feeling very inspired as of late for indoor areas. Oh, this is like where they store all the toys. To like ship them off. I can't get through to any of it though. There's like a to-do of what needs to be shipped. The gnomes are doing their business. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a real workshop. There's like exit signs above all the doors too. Which is also great. Ooh, and this is like a little cozy Santa room. Okay, I can swear that this is Mario Kart 64 music. What's playing? What is this? That sounds way too similar to Mario Kart 64 for that to be a coincidence. Oh, it's a chocolate room. That's why I use this song. Well, yeah, Choco Mountain is one of them, but I'm thinking... Isn't there, like, Calamari Desert is one of them, too, that also uses that music? But, like, is that what that is, or is it a coincidence? Because that's really close. I mean, this is Totaka, and I don't think Totaka did Mario Kart 64. Although, weird fact worth thinking about. That is scary. I don't like when Chris shows up like this. Where are you going? What fucking back alley business are you up to over here? But yeah, a, a cursed fact that I like to bust out. Well, maybe not cursed, but... Oh, hello. Do you require guidance? Boy, do I ever. I would like to report this dream. I will report everybody until I am the best one. It's gonna take a lot of reporting, because I'm real far down on the list. I wanna wake up. Let me out! Let me out! Until next time. Good evening.
It would be very good if you could get cursed NPCs which teleport around when they exit your, your view. Hey, we'll see. We'll see on the... That is absolutely how I wake up. We'll see when the um, Halloween event comes, because I bet that that's what the Pumpkin Man is going to do. All right, one more thing before I wrap up tonight, because uh, I mentioned bushes earlier, and every time I think about them, I forget them, and I just don't put them around. I'm going to put some bushes around. That's what these are, right? Uh, maybe? Unless that's what these are. Maybe? Either way, I don't have roses, so... I, I should be planting tons of this stuff. That way it's like they're hunting you! Well, little do I know, I'm sure they are. They already are. Hmm. Well, I've already kind of committed my backyard to be somewhat temporary, somewhat permanent pumpkin zone, but... Let's move these and get some roses down the front. Guys really live in apartments like this and don't see any issue. Picture of Griffin's Animal Crossing bedroom! I can just never get a hold of any good furniture. I don't know how you guys find all this stuff. I wish I could. <laughs> yeah, the fucking male living spaces subreddit. Let's see, so hopefully I'm on the- Whoa, that was a leap! Oh my god! I went flying! Have you guys seen that video on YouTube called Red Roses 2? Where it's, what a wonderful world, but every single line is, Red Roses 2! Red Roses 2! Red Roses 2! <laughs> and this goes on for like the full three minutes! Also, achievements? I like me some achievements. I still think I'm like a four-room house or something. You don't say. That makes me feel a little bit better. March was a fucking decade ago. It really was. It's tough to believe. And what is this one again? Oh, this is a single bag for a single kind of flower, so I might not touch that. But I'll put these here, and then and then bushes. And then maybe I'll order a pair of fountains, like, right now. I didn't know I was sitting on this supply of flowers, because I only play this game, like, a month at a time. And then I forget that I'm, like, buying stuff for next time. I thought you said Marge. Like, crumping. <laughs> Mm, do I want red roses to back here? Uh, maybe something nice to line this, but I'll come back to that, because I might not have enough to accomplish that. Also, I forgot that I had, like, a porch back here. That's fun. Hmm. Now, what do I want to do with my bushes is the question. Like, do I want to have, like, a dense selection all back here, or maybe I could have them up against the wall? I have 20 to go around, so... It's worth thinking about. I think some bushes would be good for here, because I don't think there's really a good place for them otherwise. And I don't know if it would really be a good spot for flowers. Hmm. But I don't want any on this side, because this is already a little bit cramped coming through here from... Uh, the Keaton Pond. Oh, look at Sterling's sunglasses! That's so funny! I'm just going to, like, quickly survey to see if there's any, like, spots that might be attractive for placing 
uh, hedges. See, like, nobody has any furniture in front of any of their houses. Hi, Audi! Hey, um, I know this is, like, out of nowhere, but I want you to have my upright vacuum. <laughs> I mean, hey, maid room, one out of 20. There we go. The thing is, after I bought this, an amazing friend gave me the exact same thing. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Fuck! I'll put some bushes to make sure he never leaves the museum again, and I'll starve there. I'll have to eat the bugs. I think this is already pretty well considered, so I don't think I'll do anything there, but... Yeah, I want to save this for dinosaurs, so that's probably off the table. Now, bushes could work for Birdie Boulevard. Now we're talking. I've already got some fancy fences, so maybe... Mm, let's get Raymond out of here first things first, and then... Like, once, once I have Keaton, then bushes can go here. But for now, with the small supply that I have, it is beginning to seem like putting them near the, the streamer mansion is a good idea. Hate it when I buy an upright vacuum and then my friend randomly gives me an upright vacuum. Also, I meant to put a bridge here. Wasn't sure what... Yeah, because I, like, kind of cut off a waterfall for the time being. Not sure if I want to commit to this yet, but it could be worth looking into. Because once I get rid of Murphy, then what I what the, what the possibilities are with this space really open up from there. So, I don't know. Ooh. God damn it. Yeah, and then the cliffside garden down here is just, like, way too dense to really fit anything more in there. Unless... I want to do it next to, like, these, um, wind turbines? Because I'm not sure how I feel about the aesthetic of this road at the moment, but that could definitely be subject to change. Hmm, I could have, like, a line of, like, bushes. Oh, never mind. The, the fence collision is, like, way bigger than I thought it was going to be. I thought I had, like, another block of space to, to work with there. Hmm. Well, in that case, I think the way forward from here is to take these. And I'm going for a start. I want to have these just to, like, match the fence. Because it certainly looks nicer than this current fence type that I have here. And I'll do the same here. So that was six that I just planted. I need to make sure that I, like, measured this correctly, because it feels like I didn't. No, yeah, five, six. No, we're good. Also, I still have this fossil that Itz gave me. I wonder what that could be for. Okay, and then we've got these roses down here. We've got red roses, too. Yeah, and then for these extras, I'll do what I was thinking at, like, the very bottom of the stairs. I think this... This middle road leading up to the house could be a really good opportunity for, like, dual lane um, bushes and flowers next to each other. But I don't think, even at the full 20, I would actually... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I would have exactly the right amount, but I don't anymore. So I'll stick with this less ambitious plan for now. Yeah, I don't think I can fit one there. Nah, okay. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, wow, and then that, the math on this perfectly checks out, actually. So then there we go. Now we just gotta water these. I'm very curious what these notifications are, because this is the thing, I do very little gardening, ordinarily. And so now this is like a bunch of firsts for me that I'm, you know, blowing the door open on. Ooh, now this is what I call 10 p.m. Oh, 
Oh, right. Uh, the cursed fact that I was going to say is that Yats uh, Yasunori Mitsuda did the music for, uh, like, Mario Party 3 or something. That's all. It's like, <laughs> it was relevant like half an hour ago, but it just took me a second. I'm not seeing any, like, little twinklies when I'm watering these, so I think they're kind of like trees where they'll just kind of do their own thing. But that's the last of them anyway, so I'll get to the roses, which probably, definitely are going to need some sprinkling. Yeah, there we, now that's what I call moisture, baby. There's one, two, three, and then one, two, three. So these are seven wide, which means I'll have to do three waters. I'm terrified that this thing's going to break. I've been doing a lot of watering tonight. I don't know how durable these things are supposed to be. Oh, but this one looks like it's more than seven. One, two, three. One, two, three. There's two on this side. Why does it not match? Yeah, maybe later on I'll move the peach trees, like, towards the back. I don't think it's ever a good idea to have trees be, like, front decoration, because then it blocks, like, the paths and stuff. And I think they would be able to shine a lot more, and I would, like, you know, even if there were fountains here, you'd barely be able to see it because of the, these trees. So I think I'll move those later on, and then I'll finally have an excuse to make use of the fruit. Let's see, I'm going to have to put one more red rose bag right here and water it too so it evens out. Hmm. And you know what? I've got a few extras. How about uh, I plant some here as well? Just so that when I do get to removing the trees, I'll have a little bit of a head start on like what I want to replace that with. Nice. Okay. Well, that's all the flowers. That's all the bushes. So we're not going to see the fruits of that for a while. I'm very curious, though, because we're in fall and coming up on winter, winter, like, how well is this stuff actually going to be able to grow? Will you be able to plant anything during the winter, or is everything just going to suck, you know, for realism's sake? All right. I, I do want to check out, though, like this one fossil that it's gave me. I honestly don't know if it was accidental or not. I never got confirmation on what the intent on that was. But I have a sneaking suspicion that it's personally thought of me. And he thought to himself, this is a fossil that Griffin needs. This is one that I know he does not have and will never have. But it's a duplicate of mine, so I'll, I'll do the kind thing. Wait a second. But this isn't an unidentified fossil. This is just a normal one. So it's wouldn't be able to know whether or not it was rare. Oh! <gasps> that said, it's the first new fossil I've found in months. So I, I mean, I, I mean, I guess it gets the credit anyways. What a fucking lucky! <laughs> I've been missing the Quetzal. Po I think this finishes the Quetzal as well, doesn't it? Wait, what? Don't hoo-hoo me if it's a duplicate. Fuck you, it's! How could you do this to me? You little tramp. They're tearing me apart, it's! I'm gonna check my nook miles. I'm so angry. I thought I was actually onto something there. Oh my god. Yeah, I see. And then shru shrubbery hubbubbery. Now these are some great names. Did I already get the flags on all of these? Oh Jesus, I sure did. Verdant wonder. Unrestrained. Pet? No, I want to be restrained. Surprising snake. Well, that came in handy. 
<laughs> all right. Well, with that, I, uh, I guess that's going to be it for tonight. Well, first of all, let's see what this is. Ooh. And that has been Animal Crossing for tonight. Thank you very much for watching. So if you enjoyed what you saw, you can follow me here on Twitch. Or no! If you enjoyed what you saw, then stick around. Because coming up is Paper Mario, the Origami King. However, I would like to go to my home and deposit these in storage, so give me just a little bit of a moment, and I'll be switching games in just a sec.